Good. Hi, everybody. We're almost there. My name is Juan Miguel. I I am at the University of at Technical University of Munich with Professor Burkhard Ross. I guess some of you know him. I'm finishing my PhD. Hopefully, like almost going uh, back to Munich and submitting my thesis. And yeah, so. And also the creator, together with Jorge Campos, of the of the Duck Talk tool, which is an annotation tool. We have seen a couple of them here, and I'm going to present Duck Talk today. And yes, Duck Talk is both an annotation tool to do manual annotations and also to do automatic annotations. We have an extensive REST API that we have also co-developed in the last blah hackathons here, and also we offer some commercial support for some clients that they have some private data and they also want to analyze them. So I thought that the best way to see this is by doing some some demo. Hopefully we can see this. And we want to make this very simple so that you can give in any type of document that you want. You, we also support quite extensively PubMed or PubMed Central. And when you upload a document, uh, we um, annotate a couple of entities that we recognize there already, some defined ontologies that, that we have. And because we worked already before with uh, at Blah, the, any annotation that you, any document that you upload to DuckDuck and get saved there uh, also gets saved in pub annotation in a, pro a project there. So now I don't have any document here, but if I refresh, I see the document. So let me just go quickly if it goes fast enough. Some pop up annotation. <laughs> Let's go. Let me refresh. All right. Maybe not. Try it later, I guess. Well, anyway, so the idea is that any annotation that you do here, you save them. For example, here I see now a mistake, and and I save it, and and then I will also see it in the pub annotation interface if that works. And the way we did this is by creating a hook in the interface that you put in your account data for username, project name, and password for pub annotation. And that's actually going to be one of the goals for this hackathon, that at the moment, pub annotation uses basic authentication. And at the moment, to facilitate the life of our users, that was to not to ask the password repeatedly, we, we save them. We save the password, but we save it honestly now in plain text, so not encrypted. And we were thinking to co-develop some kind of open ID system or O of to something that will work for for any for any user. And then also that we support in in this is that since it's an annotation tool, you can define any entity or relationship that you want to annotate, or also some annotation guidelines or even some people were commented before that some of the sections you want to annotate. So now there's done, for example, the abstract or the, you only care about the results and the stuff. And we also provide support for that. We also provide support for, for, for PubMed Central. And we also show the, the figures and the figure captions. And, what, and we link the, the, the figures. And also that we do, something that we do is if you define, for example, now a new entity, and I say, I'm going to say with human state, and I hope that works now, of automatic learning. learning. So like I have get lag coming there from the example of Lars. Mm -hmm. And hopefully I can learn this now if I change the type to human state and save it. Now as we have hyphen and let's say who else 
tens get lag. Hopefully this works now. No, oh, that was uh, fine. They work, but the idea is that that it gets annotated once you 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 put it in, and we worked already before with. With, for example, I don't know if I can show it. Well, with with Flybase to do annotations of fly G names and protein names, and then we were also working very recently for doing recognitions of mutations, variations, and something that also like the, the previous presenter that you have this interactive system. So the idea is essentially the same that the machine makes some predictions, it makes some mistakes, always typically, and then the human annotator corrects those. And for example, previous presenter was Arjun was replaced by his student at position 554 RH554H. Um, and then we were able to develop this machine to recognize human variations uh, is written in, in, in complex natural language by doing this kind of iterate, iterative process of improving the errors that the, that the machine made. Um, so yes, that's essentially what TACTOC is and you have like your, your documents and you can navigate through them and you can search any uh, entities that you have and the annotations too, which is quite useful. And going back to that, essentially the two goals, two main goals that we have for the for the hackathon is first of all, one is have TACTOP editor or viewer have been a pro supporting the interface of pop annotation so that every pop annotation annotation or resource can be viewed on TACTOP just by sending a link and and also being able to save annotations there and then post them directly automatically as well to to pop annotation and, and the goal too was to to yes to co-develop this open ID base uh, base authentication. So that's it. Thank you.